going on, man? It's TV, TV. As you can see, I am uh, back in the blue truck. Because I had to go get the blue truck because they was going to charge me with abandonment. So I didn't want to have abandonment on my record. So I went from Tucker, Georgia down to Jacksonville to get the truck. I got to get a load to get back up to the yard to get my truck. I did buy my truck. I am now owner operator on the owner operator side for uh, Martin Transport. I was supposed to be going to USA Truck, but things didn't work out. I uh, purchased the truck. I drove from, I purchased the truck on a Monday. I drove from Miami all the way to Atlanta nonstop. Now those of you that have driven that after you've, after you've gotten up six o'clock in the morning know I wasn't on a DOT um, thing where I had to, uh, you know what I mean, put in how much time I was and all that. So I just drove straight through with um, not for hire, all that USA truck on my way there. Get there. And I've been up all night, haven't eaten, drinking coffee all the way there. That is not how you prepare for a DOT festival. So. I was under impression that I already had my DOT physical that I took four months ago. I took a DOT physical four months ago, so I didn't have to take another one. Well, I get there, he said, yep, you got to take another one. So I started flipping out. I'm like, well, nobody told me I had to take another uh, DOT physical. Nobody told me that. So um, I'm flipping out. The woman locks the door on me. Because you think I'm crazy, because I guess there's a lot of crazy people in Atlanta. So therefore, I would just be another one. So, I wasn't going to do anything. Like, I was just cussing and fussing. Because I hadn't prepared myself to be able to take a physical. When you take medication for stuff, like blood pressure medicine, like I do, you have to be prepared when you take a physical. Like, you don't just stay up all night drinking coffee and then go take a physical. So, my wife talked to my wife. She calmed me down. I took the physical. Our sight was good with the glasses on. Our sight was good. Uh, turned out my blood pressure was good. But I had been up logging coffee for the past two days. I had I was reading that I had sugar. Uh, my sugar intake was high. So I asked her. I said, "Well, can I just take it again tomorrow? I've been up all night drinking coffee trying to get here." So, she was like, no. I said, well, is there something I can do? Is there a doctor I can see or something? I'll just pay him. Money's not an issue. You know what I mean? So, she was like, no. Like, real nasty, real blunt. So, the woman in the front, she tried to see if one of the doctors would see me. And I pay her cash and all that. But then they were like, no. Tell him he needs to be on medication for three weeks. For three weeks. I need to be on medication, and then I can go ahead and redo the, redo the uh, DOT physical. And I was like, no, not doing that. Y'all kiss my ass, man. I'm out of here. So I left. I got back in the van, rolled over there. Dude from USA Trump, oh, I had to do this. You know, old Uncle Tom, hillbilly ass ass nigga. No, oh, I had to do this. When I, when I was going, I mean, I don't give a fuck what you had to do when you was going through your uh, orange. I don't give a damn what you was doing, man. Like, this is my life right now. Like, I just bought a truck Monday, and here it is Tuesday, and I don't have a fucking job for the truck that I just bought. So, I'm flipping out, man. Like, I just went to a pilot somewhere. I got up out of there. She's like... Well, I need a, I need your license and your birth certificate, your birth certificate to show that you were in this orientation. I was like, all right, here, here's my license and birth, and I drove right the hell off. They looked at me like I was crazy. I don't care. So, I left there. Fuck USA Truck. Woman calling me from USA Truck talking about, uh, can you just come back and redo the? No, I said what I should have did is went to Arkansas and not took that damn test. And, and not did the orientation in Atlanta. That was like the worst thing I could have done. We took the bag on uh, uh, orientation in uh, uh, in uh, in Atlanta. I'm at the truck wash right now. That's why I'm moving around. 
a little bit with no seat belt on, in case y'all were wondering that. Going down the highway, I am at the truck wash. For all you tattletale motherfuckers out there, like telling shit. So, um, so, uh, yeah, so I leave, go to the pilot, get myself something to eat, calm myself down, talk to my wife. So, right now, I'm, I'm filling out applications for JB Hunt. I'm all over the place. And finally, I was like, look, Martin got an op owner operator division. I'm already an employee with them. So the transition should be smooth. Now all they have to do is transfer everything over to that. I gave them all my paperwork for my truck. So I sent my truck through inspection that day. And here I am. So the driver manager calls me. She's like, um, Chris, you need to go get that truck. Or you're not going to be able to do your orientation with uh, Martin. Your new orientation on the operator. We're going to have to charge you with a truck abandonment. So I'm like, man... I was like, they make a bad day worse. So I was like, I don't know how I'm getting down there. I was like, the truck's in Jacksonville. I was like, this truck is up here. I'm not, no, I'm not doing it. So I got with the, she was acting dumb about it. So I got with the nighttime crew. Nighttime crew got me a ride, an older black dude. Matter of fact, he used to be an owner operator too. So me and him talked about some stuff. He gave me some pointers on some stuff that I needed to do. He actually liked it at Martin. He just stopped driving his truck after he had like twenty something thousand dollars in repairs that he he couldn't afford to, uh, to do. So he had to he had to give his truck up. So he's in the process of getting his money back together so he can get back out there now. But um, yeah, he gave me a ride down, and that's how I end up here at the truck bay truck wash. I got to get a load to get back up there because they wouldn't just let me drive back up there. It's like, you got to get a load to get back up there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting my load to get back up there. Oh, man. This has been a hell of a 24 hours that I've been through. It's been a hell of a 24 hours. This line is not moving at all, as you can see. Like, I crept up this that one time, and that was it. I don't know what they got working up in there, but yeah, they are slow, really slow. What is that there? That there. Um, yeah, so I have to go back to the yard because of me and all my haste and being upset and acting all crazy yesterday, I made another bad decision. Um, I made another bad decision and I didn't leave my key. And he said, why, why is that important that you leave your key? It's important I leave my key so they can put my GPS, my uh, Qualcomm and stuff in my in my red truck, the truck that I just got. So I didn't leave the key for that. So now I have to go, and they're not, I'm just basically going to end up being in the yard till Monday. I can see that now. I'm going to end up getting a hotel room just going to hell to sleep. Because right now I just need like 10, 12 hours of just straight sleep. Like, I'm, I'm on crazy time right now. I don't know how I'm going to react toward people. So, I'm just, I'm just, a, maybe I'll be happier once I get Big Red out there and we get to moving. I got a 2012 uh, Freightliner uh, Cascadia. I ended up getting, it was the most reasonable truck that they had there for 1300 a month for two years. You can't beat that. No, I can't beat that. That price was... That price was just up being with me. I don't know, maybe seven, eight hundred dollars a week sounds better to y'all. But I don't know. What do I know? But um, I'll make a load after every video. After every um, I'll make a video after every load that I do, and let you know how the truck is holding up. It is an older truck. It has over seven hundred wow thousand miles on it, and um, but it's a strong truck. It's a strong running truck. It's a, um, the bottom end's been rebuilt. The bottom end's been rebuilt on the truck. Uh, new burns, new rods. If it's all, all the stuff that goes wrong with DD-15s, where it starts eating. Uh, you start consuming oil like crazy, having to put oil in it all the time because of that. It's your rods, your burns, and your, um, your pickup tube start to go bad on the truck. So all that's been replaced on the truck. 
I just don't have a DPF. I don't have DPF. I don't have. Uh, I have DPF. Sorry, I have DPF. I do not have an APU. That's my big problem right now. Summer's about to come. I am about to have to idle this damn truck. So I need to start thinking of a way to keep myself cool if I have to figure out how to put a generator in the back on the inside of a lock box. You know what I mean? Lock it down so nobody can take it. Run them cords up into the truck and see if I can run a small air thing in here. Something. Something. Not this truck, but my other truck. See if I can run something in there. I'm not a summer person. I'm not a heat person. I sweat for no reason. Like, I can't do that. So, I will find something. I will find a way to, um, I'll find a way to keep cool. But, I know I haven't made much videos in a while. People have been asking me to make videos. So, that's my story of what I've been going through for the past two weeks. It was a process of me trying to get my truck. It was a process of um, saving the money to get the truck, um, going to get the truck, trying to find the cheapest way to get the truck, trying to get a route there, and then trying to um, get back to the yard, which was supposed to be the USA trucking yard, but it's not now. So, and that's what I've been going through. So now back at Martin, I'm going to give them a try for a couple of months. If it don't work, I'm going to Landstar. That's it. No questions asked. Like, not doing it. I got my own bobtail insurance. Everything million dollar coverage. Ain't got to worry. I can drive my truck, take off, and go anywhere. But in transit, on my way to Landstar. As long as I got insurance, I can do that. Got an LLC. And, uh, EIM. I got a LLC. I got all kinds of dumb ass. Uh, I'm just legal as a mug. That's all you need to know. I'm legal as a mug right now. And it feels good to finally be an owner-operator. And it feels good to finally be in control of my future. And as my future in truck. So, I'll keep you all updated on these heavy-ass Martin Lou's I'm going to have to tote around. And I'll let you know how old Red holds up. Or if I'm going to have to have it out with the people I got the truck from. Give me another truck. So we'll see. We'll see how old Ray does. I'm out.